Hello and welcome to Vampire. And it's time to meet with so, the Time to visit the Ascalon Club. Yeah, I was just about to say that. We're going to the Ascalon Club. Uh, because why not? What is that? Dr. Swansea. Um I really don't like the fact that we can't really zoom out properly or just can't move around the map. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. I guess. I must be. Well, we are ready as as we ever gonna be. Hmm. What's going on here? Level twenty-four. Kill them all. Okay. So we're dealing with proper vampires now. No, 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 no. Oh, what? One hit? I like that. What the hell is wrong with you, man? No, I don't think so. There's some kind of saber. Come on, that's gotta be a lethal hit. Good handle part, that's really, really good. That's exactly what we're looking for. Let's see what we uh, are doing on the map. Unknown event happened. Well, we're gonna go to the Ascon Club. What's this? Screw and grease. Sure. This place is. Well, this game is so dark. Why it's always night? I usually, uh, well, wait or whatever. I, I don't really, um, uh, travel in the night, usually in games. If there's an option to wait till morning, I'll do that. Quarantine, contagious disease. Okay, so we shouldn't go in there, I, I suppose. Who's that? Is that my picture? It's not, not my picture. Okay. Now my picture doesn't care. It's locked. What? The Ascalon Club is locked away. How could you guys do that? Now we have to go... Uh, maybe that way. Okay. Oh, F? Okay, sure. Let's go up. But... There's nowhere else to go, so... How about that? Ooh, maybe. Maybe we're going the r right way now. Oh, look at that. Seems like a checkpoint. Apparently they're gonna let me through. I'm not so sure about that. What is that? Well, I'm just moving along. No, I don't want that uh, green smoke in my face. That was the vampire I saw earlier. This war takes no prisoners. Keep out. They, it, come on, they write keep out everywhere, Cre keep out in the houses, fine, but on the streets as well, come on, where are you supposed to go if you're supposed to uh, not go anywhere, I suppose get out of the, f the bloody uh, town, city, so we can check out the event, now that we got rather close, maybe we're gonna get some more information about this uh I don't know let's just call it situation effectiveness has been proven by many even the flu is no match for the swanborough cordial yeah I do you know about Whitechapel come on can we just go 
What can we even do here? Dead inside? Oh. Critical. Whoa, what the hell? You ugly. What happened to this place? What a mess. Dorothy? Wait. No! Why is Dorothy suddenly hostile to me? That green smoke they were uh, using earlier. Whoa, you come on, Dorothy, don't be hostile to me. Come on, get lifted up. I thought we stopped this, Dorothy. Twenty four. Rest in peace. We gotta Oh boy, we gotta Are we gonna take damage? Continuously now? Seems like we are. Okay. I'm just gonna take your five shillings. Oh, that could be it. I I I, uh, I can't tell. It's so bloody dark. It seems like it's just. Or maybe we're getting more stuff. Some treatments. This probably happened because we didn't treat the area. But we already established that it's not a, a casual or normal illness. So, will my remedies for headache and uh, sore throat are really gonna do a damn thing? Uh, then perhaps make people feel better? And I'm just uh, mitigating the symptoms rather than, well, yeah. So that's it. Okay, I, I guess we do know about that now. I suppose we see the the outcome of our actions or the lack of actions. This elixir will give you faith again. I don't think that's working so well. So, I'm just gonna go over here. Yep. Okay, we can go here. And we gotta go. End. Never have I felt so sad to be back home. <sighs> What's up, mister? Are we gonna ever meet someone who's not hostile? Uh, outside. Seems like no. Closest we got is the uh, the was the bar. This guy is a little tanky. I need some stamina now. Oh no. I'm just gonna take your blood. Why am I losing blood? Did he hit me with something special? I don't know. I'm an ancient... Well, I'm from an ancient vampire uh, line and... Um, I'm using all the special vampire skills. New dialogue option available at Lady Ashbray. Like what? We just left... Uh, like 10 minutes ago. The Ascalon Club. The heart of Women's British right Vampire vote Society. Is only the first step. Not quite as subtle as I expected. Wait, what? You're a quest giver? Look at that. Yeah, she has an exclamation mark. Oh, oh never mind no. that. 
Please, Mr. Vampire, don't what? kill me. Please, no. I'm too young to die. I still have oh, so yeah. much to offer this world. Wait, no. Why do you think I would... What? Don't worry, Dr. Reed. I know you wouldn't harm me. Mother told me you were in this part of town and might drop by. Your mother? My name is Charlotte, sir. Charlotte Ashbury. My mother taught me long ago how to recognize the signs that betray a vampire. I understand she also taught you how to tease and gently mock innocent young Ekons. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Charlotte. Ah, uh, by the way, I, I meant that we don't see, um, uh, well, NPCs that cannot be interacted with, I suppose. Not, not, not really often. I, I suppose it happens from time to time, but damn. It's pretty rare. Especially in these, um, uh, more critical districts. I'm gonna check you medically. She's healthy. Can I mesmerize you? No, still can't mind control women. God damn it. Uh, your life in London? Tell me about the neighborhood. About your adoption. Why do you assume she got adopted? What do you think about this part of town? I was raised here and I suppose it feels like home. You grew up in this part of town too, did you not? Yeah, I was born here. Yes, I was born a few streets away. A small world, is it not? Did you ever imagine that my mother was your neighbor all that time? That you could have met her in a dark alley at night? You won't trick me twice, young lady. We both know Lady Ashbury never hunts or attacks prey at random. Come on, Doctor. Don't tell me you never thought about that possibility. Her fangs on your neck. Oh, are you blushing, Dr. Reed? What? No, that definitely didn't get me excited in any way. Is something bothering you? Is there something that's bothering you? Too much selfishness and individualism for my taste. Even when there was no epidemic. Even if that's partly true. May I remind you that many charitable institutions are financed by the selfish and filthy rich. I suppose you're right. But society must reform and renew itself or we are all done for. I see. Are you adopted? Tell me about your adoption. What do you want to know? Why didn't your parents love you? Who are your real parents? Elizabeth Ashbury is my real mother. What? She raised me and has taken care of me all my life. I have no idea who my progenitors are or were. Do you live with her? I still spend a lot of time in my mother's mansion, but I have my own house now. I have a life to live, you see. And one day, I'll have my death to face. I see. How did you meet your, uh, your mother? How did you meet Lady Ashbury? First, I was an orphan in the institution for girls she manages in the West End. When I was ten, she adopted me, and I have lived with her ever since. Did you know she was a vampire when she picked you? The correct word is Ekon, Doctor. Oh. And no, I had no idea why my mother only showed up at night. She told me everything when I turned <gasps> sixteen, though I suspected the truth for a long time before that. What comes true? You you clearly didn't have the full picture. <laughs> well, that that could be awkward, not knowing it for like six years. That, that's cool. Still better than uh, living with a bunch of orphans, I suppose. <laughs> so, what do you do around here other than uh, uh, preach uh, equal rights to a bunch of? Uh, uh, rabid vampires and, uh, well, overzealous, uh, killers. What are you doing out here? You mean, what do I do outside at night since I am a woman? Let me ask you a question, sir. Would you ask the same question of a man? Actually, yes. I ask the same question to everyone who dares to go outside at night. Considering the risks. Well, if you must know, I campaign for the right to vote for all women. Why should I wait to the age of 30 years when men can vote at 21? Well... I... well... I don't really care about voting that much. Okay, fair, fair enough. 
uh, women. But the thing is, you actually replaced my question with your own question, then you answered your own bloody question. Then I had to... This, this was just bullshit. Anyway, are you... Uh, how are the ro locals reacting? Good question. How are the locals reacting to your claims? People here can't wait for a wall to be built to isolate the West End from the rest of town. That's how progressive they are. If this happens, Emily and I will blow it up. Explosives are very dangerous, Emily. <laughs> and who is this Emily? She is my best friend, and a suffragette too. She was supposed to campaign with me tonight, but hasn't turned up. Have you any reason to be worried about her? Recently, Emily started to believe in... Well, she got interested in vampires. I'm afraid she might be in trouble. Let me guess. You spoke to her about us, didn't you? Despite your mother's warning, I think I should try to find your friend. Oh, that would be top-notch. Top-notch? I can tell you where she might have gone. You have my thanks, Dr. Reed. And please, don't tell my mother. Now that's a first. Finding your probably dead, maybe only best friend, uh... Well, finding her is top notch. Okay. Are you a suffragette? Are you a suffragette then? Oh, you really are, Elizabeth's girl. Without a doubt. All adult women have the right to vote in the US, in New Zealand, and in Australia. But women here can't vote unless they are property owners. No need to convince me, Miss Charlotte. I have shared your opinion for a long time. Even before I met Emmeline Pankhurst. Really? Oh. Now I see why my mother appreciates you so much. Too bad there aren't more men like you in the vicinity. Excuse me, miss. Are you hitting on me? Whoa, this, this could get awkward fast. Um. Sure. What do you know about me? What exactly has your mother told you about me? Your name and profession, obviously, and the mystery about your maker. I'm sorry to hear about what happened to your sister, sir. Mother says it was not your fault. Does it not scare you to know what I am? What your mother is? Why should it? My mother is the most compassionate woman. Must I be wary of her, Dr. Reed? Or you? Well... Mm, not necessarily. Just because she is powerful, or maybe more powerful than a human, doesn't mean you need to be concerned. And, uh... Good question. Well, I'm not gonna tell you what to think about your mother, so... No. Of course not. You have nothing to fear from me, or your mother. Good to know. And don't worry, my mother told me everything I need to know about vampire tricks, their nature as well as features. Your mother is not like any other vampire I've met. I believe she thinks the same about you, Dr. Reed. Well, I'm very special. Personal questions, here we go. Why did La Lady Ashbury... Uh, adopt you she probably doesn't know or it can tear up old, old wounds do you know why lady Asprey chose you to become her daughter no I don't each time I ask her that question she smiles and says it's precisely because I dare to ask such questions do you ever regret that she chose you of course not though I often wonder if she adopted others before me if so where are they buried? How was it for them to pass through life with a never-aging mother? Wow. Well. Goodbye. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I suspect you may see her before me. That's possible. But take care, Charlotte. 
This, these are dangerous times. Very damn dangerous. Do I want to run around in the West End? I just want to go into the Ascalon Club. It has, a, it has balls around. Of course it does. Who the hell are you, mate? Good evening, sir. May I have your attention, please? Come on, Johnny. Don't you recognize your oldest friend? Clarence. Clarence Crossley. How are you? My God. So you survived the war, too. So sorry I didn't recognize you at first. I almost didn't recognize you, either. War does that to men, I heard. In my case, it was true, for I witnessed the horror that lies underneath. Personal question, here we go. How's your wife? How is your wife, Venus? We've spent so much time away from each other, and so many things have happened. Uh, but you're alive! But you're alive. You returned in one piece, and you have a family. How many soldiers can say the same? Believe me, it's not quite that simple. Unlike you, I'm not the man I used to be. I don't want to get into the, your family troubles. Why did you return to London? Is that a kind of a dumb question? When did you escape the war and return to London? You know what's funny? I almost never think about the war. Not anymore. I'm involved in another kind of battle now. Well, what is that? Right, that's healthy, not thinking about the war. What is this new battle? Well, I saw terrible things during the war. <gasps> Horrors I thought I'd forget. They're here too. They're everywhere. Vampires. I don't think about vampires either. I know what you mean. I haven't had much time to think about the war either since my return. Of course. With the epidemic, I bet you've been busy as well. Forgive me, Johnny. I, I didn't want to sound selfish. Ah, uh, you're not. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to see. What the hell? Women's right to vote is only the first step. Clarence. I mean, Charlotte. Are you gonna go in? Remember, don't women. let any strangers come into your house. What the hell? Like you? Someone's shouting. At my door, do not let any strangers in. I would probably not let in that guy, but that's for sure. I suppose he was right, but still. I suppose some people would be tempted to let them in, like, hmm, why is he saying that? Just come on in, mister. Do you know where you are standing right now? In front of the Ascalon Club, I presume. The Ascalon Club only summons or ostracizes. What is your business tonight? I received an invitation. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, then, Dr. Reed. Please proceed. Lord Redgrave is waiting on you upstairs. Wow, okay. This place is a mess. I told you guys we were fancy. There has been quite a battle here. I'm sure the Ascalon Club has the money to replace the furniture. You guys didn't even loot these... Uh, these bastards? You are truly savages. How could you not take away his two shilling? You have to. Probably shouldn't have a suit of armor. Or maybe I should. That would be like very exhausting to wear it, right? Yeah. Probably not too practical. Especially if uh, a lot of things can f pierce it. Oh, you left the Oscar Club? 
But this club is tiny. Oh, merchants' prices for their goods may vary depending on their district's health status. I'm, I'm the worst doctor. What's going on here? Some old dude with glasses. Some woman. Some guy. Some trees. More trees. Okay. What is this? Good dagger? Is that is that really good? Uh yeah, it's an offhand weapon. But I guess it's not that good. Five shillings? That was clearly more than five shillings. Come on, Dr. Reed. Two shillings. There is where we need to go. Oh, never mind that. Good evening. My good friends, if I may have your attention. Behold our visitor, the good Dr. Reed. Newborn of blood so pure and strong that even my friend Fergal Bancher was no match for him. Here, here, here. Come forward, young Ekon, for we have so much to discuss. Sure. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. I am Lord Redgrave, Earl of Bristol, and Chairman of this exclusive association. Lord Redgrave. At last we meet. I've been eager to make your acquaintance. I've heard some astounding things about you. Please accept my condolences for your loss, Dr. Reed. Thank you, my lord. Lady Ashbury expressed your wish to meet me. Yes. The lady has always been a useful acquaintance, though not always reliable. Is she a good friend of yours? Yes. I don't know if I could call her a close friend. Alright, gonna freely express my admiration for someone I I know so little. But she's useful, I I suppose. I can I can just pretend to be as cold as cunning cold and cunning as they are. She has proved to be helpful on many occasions. Hmm. The centuries have taught me never <laughs> to trust a woman completely, especially if she is immortal. Too prone to emotions, if you ask me. Too fickle when it comes to important decisions. My lord, do not expect me to speak ill of Lady Ashbury. Of course not, and I praise your loyalty. Would you offer the same fidelity to the Empire? What do you mean? I speak of this skull plague that threatens London and the country. You have been on the front line in the East End, but the time has come to open up a second front here. The epidemic has escaped the quarantine. You have new cases of the outbreak. We don't know for certain, but we cannot allow the disease to threaten the prominent heads of Great Britain. Why me? Why now? I guess he's right, I was murdering everybody. Why someone so friendly? Why now? Why have you asked me here? Because the crisis is escalating. Our enemies, the guard of Prewin, have even launched an open hunt. The only way to calm things down is to put an end to the epidemic. You want me to find possible sources of the outbreak in the West End? Is that it? Ah. Straight to the point, like all eager newborns. We shall have time to talk about all this, Dr. Reed. But first, I should like to get to know you better. Talk? Is that the only reason you asked me here? Well, no. I also wanted to meet the intriguing Ekon who made such a powerful progeny of his sister. You have not learned the name of your maker, am I correct? 
Uh, no, I don't know. No, I haven't. Have no embarrassment, Dr. Reed. We all make mistakes. But whatever your lineage, you are definitely Ascalon material. What do you mean? I would like you to become a member of the Ascalon Club and to serve me as such. I have questions first. I can fully join a club without knowing what the hell it stands for. Before I accept, I have so many questions. Please ask. What does the membership imply? What does it mean to be a member of the Ascalon Club? It means that you swear to protect the interests of the Crown. That you become a loyal servant of the British Empire. Have you any official recognition? Am, am I supposed to obey? Am I supposed to follow orders? As founder and chairman of the club, I alone am entitled to make demands of our members. And I do appreciate obedience. Do you have any official recognition from the government? A charter from His Majesty the King? No. Of course, the Ascalon Club publicly supports the Empire. But the true nature of its members remains a secret. I don't know, this is a weird camera angle, isn't it? Should I just go back, back, back? I can't. Before I accept, I... Please ask. Ah, uh, what is the purpose of this club? What is the Ascalon Club's express purpose? We follow the credo of William Marshall, the greatest knight who ever lived. As was he, we are sworn to protect the British Empire. What does Ascalon mean? Okay. What does Ascalon mean? Ascalon was the lance wielded by St. George, glorious patron saint of England when he slew the dragon. And like that lance, we pierce the hearts of all our nation's enemies. Sure. William Marshall founded the Ascalon Club. Not exactly. William Marshall granted me immortality, and I founded the club a few years later. The good knight has been gone for so long. Maybe William Marshall is not dead. I killed one of yours. Uh, kind of an awkward uh, thing to bring up. I killed Fergal, who claimed to be one of yours. Sent to cleanse the East End of all Skulls. Will his death be an issue? Do not worry. My priorities have changed. Fergal was a zealous servant of mine, but like any servant, he had his limitations and is readily replaced if necessary. I don't like to hear uh, the sound of that because that means uh, you kind of think of me the same way. I consent to join. I guess I don't have choice. I agree to join the club. This is good news. Good news indeed in these crucial times. Let's inform the assembly formally and proceed with your initiation. My initiation? Fear not. Nothing fancy nor dangerous. It is just that we, the members of Ascalon, believe that tradition and custom are the backbone of this country. My fellow members, dear friends, please gather and welcome this Ekon as one of our own. Is he worthy? Is his blood pure? This is creepy. Well, speak, Dr. Reed. In front of the most sacred blood. The blood of our beloved William Marshall. Speak now. Will you serve and protect the crown as he did? Yes, I will. Apparently I will. Then, young Ekon, it is time to testify with your blood. It is time to sign the Book of Allegiance. With my blood? I know it's awfully gothic and a tad pedantic, but England's traditions are the backbone of our nation. I sand with my blood? That would be the... <laughs> oh, I'm going for that. There's gotta be a better way to do it. No! My blood ran out. What the hell? Delightful. More like creepy. Welcome to the Ascalon Club, Dr. Reed. 
Take your place among the bearers of the lance. One of us! One of us! Thanks for the warm welcome, guys. Uh, <clears throat> talk to Lord Redgrave again. Anyway, this is a good time to take a break, so thanks I'm for watching, guys, and... Wait, what? No, I'm gonna stop it now. I have to. So, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.